Hello, my name is Eva Javeri and welcome to Jeni Podcast. I am a Gen Z, but today I have a little Gen Y in me because today we have the most ID bahu of the television industry, Sohana Kashyap, aka Ragini Khanna. Uh, so, Ms. Ragini, how many years have you been in the acting industry? Technically, I've been actively working since two thousand six or seven. Okay. So uh, you can count from there on. Now it's two thousand twenty-three. Yeah. So I think seventeen, eighteen years, yeah. almost. That's a lot. But I've been learning performing arts since I was five years old. Okay. And I started my career technically at the age of thirteen. Okay. Because I participated in my mother's music uh, album as a chorus singer. Oh wow! So that was my first income. You sing also. I only sing. I intended to be a singer. Okay. But fate has its own ways, right. and I became an actor. But I really trained to become a singer. Then I think by the end of the podcast, you could sing a little for us. I'm sure. Okay, but I did <laughs> Okay. Uh, why did you want to become an actor? I didn't want to become an actor ever, Eva. Oh. I'll be very honest. So in my family. Uh, Everybody was inclined towards performing arts, okay. and most of my uh, brothers and my sisters wanted to be actors. Okay. Everybody wanted to be an actor, and not even an actor. They wanted to become a hero. क्या बनना है हीरो बनना है. So, uh, and I used to keep judging them. I was like, चाय, like hero बनना है जरिये चाय. And now they look at me. Then they call you. So, all those men are different. So yeah, but uh, because you know, at that time I used to meet so many starlets. I used yeah. to meet so many of them, and I used to see them so disappointed when they didn't make it. And I used to feel so bad and disheartened for them mm. that I was like. कोशिश ही नहीं करनी चाहिए सो आई हैव बिन क्वाइट सिनिकल एज अ गेट एंड आई हैव बीन वेरी स्लूटी एज अ सिंगर बिकॉज आई सम ऑफ दैट एंड इफ यू गो इन योर वेदिक माइथोलॉजी एंड एवरीथिंग सिंगिंग वाज ऑलवेज कंसीडर्ड एज द एट इट्स हाईएस्ट पेडेस्ट सो तो आई वाज वेरी स्लूटी लाइक दैट लाइक आई सिंग एंड यू ऑल कैन एक्ट बट देन So when I graduated, mm. I was really clueless of what I wanted to do with my career. Okay. Because I was rejected for this reality show I went for. Okay. As a singer. Okay. So I was a little heartbroken, mm-hmm. but not disheartened. Mm. So I, I I'd seen my brother Amit auditioning. Yeah. Amit used to like Amit really made it big in the ad ad industry. Oh wow. Well. So uh, he used to do a lot of ads, and then I saw him auditioning. Mm. I was like, let me take some. You know, dipstar uh-huh. him, and let me also start auditioning. So I collected some money for uh, a photo shoot. Okay. So that time, portfolio pictures were like a must. Okay. Like before an artist reaches an office, your portfolio should be there first. Definitely. Not like that anymore. In the day and age of Instagram, you don't need it anymore as much. Yeah. But uh, back then, you needed a portfolio. Mm. So, <laughs> so I I got a portfolio done. So there used to be a lot of model coordinators. Okay. So. Uh, I took got all the numbers from Amit, right. and I distributed my pictures to everyone. And all the model coordinators, because I was Amit's sister, and because they found my pictures decent, and I was a sensible talker, they started sending me for auditions. Okay. So I started auditioning, and then I got my first ad for uh, a bank. Okay. Uh, where I was, like you know how you have these bank brochures, yeah, and you have these five six college students sitting, and you know you won't even notice. Any individual in there, but you know you are. Uh, 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 <laughs> yeah, I was that reaction. I was that. Oh, that was that, and I got paid seven hundred for that. So that was my, and I went to Panvel to shoot that. So that was my first acting job. Yeah. So I was like, damn, Pula. I was having fun, and it also made me money, and uh, I wasn't rejected because with singing, I had to ask my mother to make calls for me. Oh, so I don't want to do that. Mm-hmm. I like, I don't want mom to suffer for me. Let me suffer my own self. Mm, fair enough. So then, yeah, then I kept getting ads, and I got. I won cool cafe. Then I get these skin brands, and I did ads which are not even for India. So oh, well. Wow. So then I got my TV show, and then there was the whole thing. Nice. <laughs> What's the best part about being in front of the camera, being an actor? That you get to be so honest as someone else. Yeah. There's hundred percent truth. In you, there's no sort of facade when you're on camera. As an actor, what challenges are you faced there? Everything, right from taking marks, from 
learning to take light yeah. uh, from understanding how much makeup is necessary for which character yeah. for understanding what body type for which character from learning lines sometimes to get the emotion right in one or two takes and not waste the sh- the set time so anything and in, especially in television you uh, television you're always under pressure you know because you have to meet a deadline you have to finish 8 to 10 scenes a day in a 12 hour shift oh my. and uh, every morning we receive a bunch which is so thick so and you know they give you this bunch and they're like ma'am short is ready oh my. this is the speed they work in television oh. so even if it is a 10 page monologue huh. you supposed to learn it right before the shot and you won't get it up night prior also because the writer is wide awake the whole night and he has made the script for a 7 o'clock shift so that how television works so that on those grounds i have trained oh my so i recommend television to all budding talents uh, because even as a dop as a director it it trains you to deliver your best and very quickly no yeah. sure. so being an actor also there must be some rejection that you might have faced had so many i have only faced rejections like uh, on an average if i gave eight auditions in a day i would get selected so the average was 100 is to 1 i used to so in the 100 auditions you get shortlisted shortlisted final shortlist semi shortlist then make it to the main director uh-huh. producer and the director will be like they look work nahi kar raha hai this uh-huh. is not working so the ratio is 100 is to 1 oh my god but then it preps you really well mm-hmm. for the other roles that you have to prepare for it just makes you a stronger human being honestly speaking i don't know what how it preps you for an for a character mm. but it just makes you a finer human being yeah. and it preps you for life that you you are fully you know capable of taking rejection yeah. you are fully able to take criticism and you somehow develop a third person perspective towards your own selves fair enough so it works like that <laughs> so what's the most challenging role for you till date any of your characters that have been challenging for you? all of them all of them come on so hana can be challenging come on i enjoyed yeah so you know to make someone enjoy is the biggest task <laughs> see when you was very subjective yeah ha huh. so what might appeal to me in your mom i put you off sure you know yeah. any cross also ha huh. so uh, uh, in fact comedy is very difficult yeah. but you need to have real good co-actors and mm-hmm. very good writing yeah huh. especially in dialogue screenplay So what was the most challenging role for you? On all of them, yeah, all of them. Because see, I was never a, in my in my head, I was never an actor. Ha. Huh. But some of people, most of my directors, have more faith in me than I have in myself. I'm good. Where? <laughs> But now I want to believe I'm an actor. Definitely. Because I've done so much work. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so now I believe I'm an actor. <laughs> But it took years to accept it. Fair enough. You feel you were a character. You want to hear Suha? I don't know. No, I don't. I'm just asking you, like your favorite minor to Suha on a horse show. Most you? favorite character I had fun portraying. Who? Oof. Oh my god! Most fun I had portraying was Bhaskar Bharati in Poshan Park. No, no, Bhaskar Bharati was this TV show I did. Okay. It was an Argentinian series where I played a man in a woman's body. Yeah. Can you tell us something about that? It was my second TV show. Okay. Uh so uh I play it was an Argentinian series called La Lola so it was a telenovela of the same. And so we adapted it for Sony and uh, I had to be dressed up like a very beautiful, very appealing mm. and a very attractive girl. I hope I looked the part <laughs> and I had to be like a boy. So okay. I used to wear these skimpy skirts and sit with my legs spread and in a very uh-huh. uncouth in a very non feminine way. Ha. Uh-huh. So I had fun doing that. Then Suhana was more fun because I had to break Bhaskar Bharati. Ha. Uh-huh. Acha uh-huh. Suhana was after immediately I like in 15 days I picked up the show. Oh wow. Oh, so for me to let go of Bhaskar and pick uh-huh. up to Suhana. So I had see so the thing is you know what the problem with the movies are mm. that by the time you start enjoying your character the film is over right <laughs> i shot poshan by in 13 days it was done 
we finished the film in 19 days oh wow we are shooting mm. then post and everything took 3 months to complete oh so by the time i would actually start having fun with shikha uh-huh. the film was done So, so I already yeah. portrayed all my emotions, mm-hmm. but I had more fun with Suhana because I was portraying her for two years. Yeah. So I had a lot more to play with her. Right. So, and there were different types of Suhanas also that we got to see. First one was a spoiled brat, and then the one, the one who evolved. Yeah. Is married. Yeah. So that's that's the beauty of television. Yeah. You see a character evolve with years. Yeah. But in movies, you have to like finish it. In If it's a hundred day schedule, also mm-hmm. then also it, it, by the time you get it, it's over. What do you think can make a role challenging? Uh, when you don't uh, associate yourself with the character at all, mm-hmm. when there is a very strong disassociation with the part, when you have not met anybody of that nature, I know. Like I didn't know anybody like Shikha. Mm-hmm. Pusham Park, yeah. when I did. So I didn't know anybody like Shikha. Sure. I would never want to know a psychological killer in my entire life. <laughs> I would never want to be on the death row. Right. But uh, so that that's what makes it challenging. So Anna, still, you know, you can pick up tidbits from huh. normal life. Yeah. I can pick her up from a college girl. I can pick her up from a Delhi girl. Huh. But uh, Shikha, I had no reference. So my uh, references and my directors. So. I, so my director so i had the like mama man i had a book my brother he had a book on uh, world's uh, largest uh, largest biggest crime murder okay. some, some criminal book he had so i read that a little bit oh. very gory stuff really gory <laughs> stuff <laughs> then um, then i also had a lot of interest in watching uh, these documentaries so i'm a huge docu head oh perfect i'm a huge docu head i love documentaries so uh, i i was asked to see the mind hunter okay by my director shuman mukhopadhyay sir okay. he asked me to watch mind hunter uh, my producer seema asked me to watch ted bundy tapes on netflix okay so my references were ted bundy and a mind hunter huh. but still an indian version to it and that too a woman version to it uh, and have a set in the 90s and a maharashtrian version uh, to it i mean there's a lot of imagination put to use fairla 